the time I was working on prerequisites for nursing school. So I was going to school four days a week and then I was working three days a week. And my family found out that my brother was dealing with a drug addiction. And then on top of that, I was just having like extreme anxiety. I was dealing with periods of insomnia. I was feeling anxious all the time, just like heart racing, not much of an appetite. And the way I dealt with it was just to throw myself into work and school and then isolate myself from other people. Because if you isolate yourself from other people, then you don't have to explain what's going on. And addiction and anxiety is definitely, um, there's an element of shame and that makes you want to not share your story and kind of hide from the world. And I thought the treatment for this would be, um, I put a lot of it on my brother. I thought if he got clean, if he went to treatment once and for all um, and he stayed clean, then my anxiety would get better and that's not how it works. When I really started focusing on myself and managing my own symptoms, that's when things started to get better. That started from the root of dealing with feeling isolated and lonely. I instead like finally started to connect to people around me with close friends that I trusted. I also started going to therapy. As I became more comfortable talking about it and less embarrassed, I was able to connect with more and more people. And then a lot of that also came when I started school here at Samuel Merritt. I was lucky and kind of fell into a community of really supportive people. I never really felt like I had to hide this part of my story or part of my family's story. And that has been very helpful. And this program and becoming a nurse has kind of fueled my passion for wanting to do this. As a nurse, you get to connect with people every day. And I also have a particular interest in public health and community health. I'm very focused on the harm reduction model and practicing from that point of view and teaching other nurses and nursing students about that. I guess when I started thinking about how I wanted to share this story, I was really careful uh, not to share my brother's story for him. And through doing that, I realized that this is not just one person's story. This might be your sibling, this might be your child or your parent. We know that this is something that our community deals with. These are our patients. And I think it's just important to remember that there is help for this, there is treatment, and a lot of that starts with talking about it so that we don't feel as shameful about the disease.